it's me, Eliana, from Danelli She Can Made. Last week we worked on the infinity scarf with the attached flower. This week we're going to work on the matching hat, and it makes a lovely set. I'm going to be using the I Love This Yarn. The color is a Strawberry Jam, which is this color here. I'm going to use about 150 yards. We're also going to be using a size I crochet hook, which is a 5.25 millimeter. I'm using the Eddie King size. I'm going to take this to the black hook to start casting on. I'm going to put my counter at zero and slowly start feeding the yarn over under every needle that comes up. And you do this nice and slow so you can grab the yarn under each one or every other one. Open up the yarn guide, slip the yarn through. And for the first couple of rows, I like to do this slowly. I know you hear the machine planking a little bit. Just to make sure that it catches. And now that you can hear, it actually sounds quite smooth. I'm going to go ahead and do 35 rows. And at the end, I'll meet you when I get to the 35th row, and then we can talk about our next step. Now on row 32, I'm almost to 35. Row 34, and here we go to 35. Open up my yarn guide. Put my needle here so it keeps the yarn out of the way. I'm going to be using some waste yarn, which is actually a contrasting color. So then when we do the edge of the hat, we'll be able to see the stitches. Be adding around eight or nine rows of contrasting colored waste yarn. And this is gonna be, the stitch is starting to pop up a little bit. I'm gonna slip it down. There we go. And usually that first row, it'll tend to do that. So you always wanna be careful and do it nice and easy. Make sure nothing comes up. Cause if you miss a stitch, it'll might unravel on you and then you won't be able to grab the stitches that you need for the crochet edging. I'll also be putting a link below to the video that what to the video that has the matching scarf in case you haven't had an opportunity to look at that. And it also within the scarf, I'll be adding a link to the hat. So either way, you'll have the links that you need. I am also very grateful for everyone watching my videos. Um, if you do like them, please like and subscribe. That would be wonderful. It just keeps me motivated to create more videos. And I think I have enough waist yarn. So I'm going to cut it. And then I'm just going to spin this so that it naturally falls off. And as you can see, it's just coming off. There. And here you have it. Now it does look small. I have had people mention on the other hat that I made with the brim. It looks small, but once you're done, you'll see that it fits perfectly. I'm going to move the machine and get started for the crochet edging portion of the video. Okay, we're getting started with the crochet portion of the video. The first thing we're going to do on the end without waste yarn, we are going to cinch it up. All you do is pull the string, pull, 
And then just tuck this in. And I'm gonna close it up. I'm just cut this a little bit, because it's a little long. Use my darning needle. Just close this up. And what's nice about the variegated yarn is you don't have to be perfect. You won't see um, if there's any issues with it. So you can just make sure you go in and out and close the hole. Let's see. And that looks pretty good. I'll just do it a few more times to make sure nothing opens up. And you can actually see the hat now really starting to take some sort of shape. Put this underneath. Just weave it in so it's not showing anywhere. And we cinch the end. So you can see that looks really cute. So now on the opposite end, where their waist yarn is, I'm just gonna pull this slightly and pull this in slightly. Get the crochet hook. So the important thing about when you're working with waist yarn, you want to add your stitches along the edge here of the blue. So where this is coming out, as you can see, I could pull it a little bit so you can see, you're gonna Put your hook underneath that first one, chain or slip stitch through, then chain one. And then you're going to single crochet by picking up all the stitches along the edge here that are at the top, that are along the blue. And just keep doing this all the way around. And I will meet you at the end. I made it to the, almost to the end of the single crochet row. And where this blue is coming out, I'm gonna put a single crochet here. And then I'm going to join it to the first single crochet. The next row, we're going to do double crochets. So we're gonna double crochet in each stitch around. Just continue on like this till you make it to the other end. And I will meet you when we get closer to the end. I'm at the end of the row two of double crochets. And I'm gonna now join it to the beginning, the chain two or chain three. And here we're going to chain three, do a back post double crochet. Actually, that was the front post. This is the back post double crochet. I'm going to do this for a little bit because not a lot of people are familiar with doing it this way. So front post, back post, front post back post and what this does is it is it gives it some texture on the brim it looks a little bit different and again we're doing front post double crochet back post a double crochet and you can see that here how this looks just gives it a little bit of a different look front post back post and I continue on like this till you get to the end now at the end of doing the front post and back post double crochets all the way around I'm going to join here at the top of the chain three and for this final row 
we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. And I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. I now reach the end of the row. And we're going to cinch this up. I'm going to cinch this up. Here we go. Underneath. And this just always like finishes finishes up the hat really nicely. Make sure you always tuck in your ends to give it that professional look. There we go. And now, let's see the hat. We're going to take the waist yarn out. Just go ahead and pull. I know I have a lot of waist yarn, but I always like to use a lot, especially on the end that unravels easily because I, I don't want it to unravel when I'm trying to add the crochet edging. So, and here we have it. Here's the hat. Now what you could do is you don't have to put the flower on it, and I'll show you a picture of of this on a mannequin, how it looks, because it looks great just as is. But we're, I'm going to go. I'm going to show you how to how I added the attached flower in just a moment. Now I'm going to show you how I added the flower, and I used a little ring from a milk bottle to cut. A template just a circular just cut a little bit out of cardboard and put a little hole through it and what I'm gonna do is let's just put a piece of string through it I'm gonna secure this here just so that I have like I said a template on where my where to add my stitches. Okay. Now we're gonna add, use this as a template. We're gonna add single crochet around the edge. Chain one. Chain two and then single crochet in the same stitch. And then pick up another stitch near there. Single crochet, pick up another stitch near the edge, single crochet. Just keep doing this all the way around and doesn't have to be perfect. It's just giving you a guide to help you stay, kind of form a circle. You don't need it. You can always just eyeball it, but I'm just trying to give you a helpful tip if you're not good at doing things like that. And let's see how we're doing here. Put the little guide there, okay? Keep going around and again, just keep putting your single crochets in a there let's see how it looks so far yeah we're doing good and again single crochet next one a single crochet and a single crochet again let's see you can see we're making a circle and we're almost to the other end. Single crochet here. Single crochet here. And I'm almost to where we started. 
and I'm not gonna join it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut this off because we don't need it anymore. You can see now I have a circle. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a circle. So it gives you a, a, one type of a start. So now, again, I'm not gonna join it. I'm just gonna continue going around the center here like a spiral. Just keep picking up stitches and putting single crochets. Again, I'm just spiraling around the edge. And I'm just putting single crochets. And this gives us our base for the next row. And again, as you see, I'm going round and round, just picking up stitches. You don't have to be perfect, just as long as it's, you're making a spiral. I think you get the idea. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm also working on a website. So let's see. And again, you can see it's, I'm starting to run out of stitches because of my spiral. Okay, there. So let me just lift this up a little. So you can see a little bit of a spiral. Now I'm going to, whoops, I dropped a stitch. Let's put that one back. Put this back here. Chain three. And now turn your work and do in the first stitch, you're gonna do two double crochets. And then in each single crochet around the spiral, you're gonna do three double crochets in each stitch. And this is what's gonna make it turn into the flower. So three double crochets. One, two, three. Again, in the next single crochet. I know this might be a little bit hard to see because it's variegated. One, two, three. And spin it again. One, two, three. And in the next one. One, two, three. Now, if you don't like this method, you could always um, just crochet a flower and maybe pin it on or sew it in. I just found this to be a little bit easier since it's all kind of one piece, but you can do it the other way. I have done it both ways, or like I said, I showed you in the picture earlier, you don't have to put a flower at all. It looks cute even without it. You know, maybe just having the flower on the scarf is enough. Maybe having two flowers is too much. So it's totally your preference. Again, I'm continuing around in the spiral, three double crochets. And I will meet you when I get close to the end of the flower. And we'll show you the finished product. So we're at the end of going around the spiral with the three double crochets in each stitch. I'll just try to squeeze one more set of three double crochets. One, two, and three. And I'm going to show you how this looks. Okay. There. Now, I'm going to just flip this around. Just, I'm going to tuck this in later. And there you have it. You've made a hat 